Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to another episode of Pixelmon, everybody. And if you guys are excited for this episode, I just want to say right now, hit that like button to show your support, because guys, we're doing it today. We're hunting for legendaries. That's right. We have absolutely no Pokeballs, and I'm basing my entire episode on hunting for legendaries. No, but in all seriousness, yeah. We're going to see if we can actually get a legendary to spawn today. And basically by that means we're just going to explore areas that have... The chance of a legendary spawning, since none has happened yet on this world in particular, it has to eventually. So we're just going to head off to all the biomes we have located that have a chance to spawn a legendary, and we're going to attempt to do it. So that being said, I guess we're going to start this off with crafting a ton of po Pokeballs. Ultra Balls in particular. But, um, yeah. Before we do any of that, I think we should, um, go and do our normal thing where we take on our... Amazing two bosses that we know and love so much. So first, let's head to our legendary boss that we always come so close to beating, but he somehow trumps us every single time. But I'm starting off shield on this time, so legendary boss that always beats us. Let's do this. So he's going with his seal and Umbreon. We got our Monferno and Gyarados. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot. It doesn't matter who you throw out with these guys. It's always the first two. Dang it, I already messed up. All right. Monferno, you use Mock Punch on Umbreon. Gyarados, use Hyper Beam on Umbreon. Let's see what we can do. Oh, he swapped out to Flaffy. All right. Fair enough. Flaffy has taken some damage. Interesting. I'm just going to wait till my Pokemon gets knocked down and I'll throw in Shield on. Um, Flaffy's electric, so we will go with... Flame Wheel on Flaffy. And he swapped that to a Flareon. Alright, and Gyarados is down. Alright. Next up, Shield on. If you'd be so kind, Flaffy, you're going to take a Mock Punch and Shield on. Let's use Toxic on Flaffy, just so we get that extra hit in. And of course, Shield on's going to live. He's going to apply his Toxic. Flaffy is now going to die. We throw in Staravia. Shield on your attack. We'll use Hidden Power on Flaffy. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So, Flaffy's hurt by the poison. We're going to use Endeavor with Flareon. Flareon. And Shield on. Uh, if you are able to use Toxic on Flareon, that'd be great. Alright, Flaffy's dead. And so are both of my Pokemon. But is it going to level any of them up? I don't think so, actually. So, we've taken on Flaffy. We have Seal and Flareon we're up against now. Croconaw, use Water Gun on Flareon, and Carvana, use Ice Fang on Flareon. And I don't know what just to. Oh, Flareon used its move that targets all Pokemon, which I never understand what that move is. And then Roar Beam dead. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, trainer. Um, you have successfully defeated all my Pokemon yet again. But I beat one of yours, and we're just going to keep beating one of yours until we beat every single one of you. Fight me. He does not want to fight me. This guy, he just, like, I'm smacking him with a hammer right now, and he just does not care. I'm watching you. Alright. Guys, let's head up to spawn now, and take on the next impossible trainer of the year. Um, and we're starting off with shield on, so, ultimate boss. And if you guys are new to the series, um, basically what these guys are are custom trainers that I personally spawned in. But I made them so difficult that, it, like, it doesn't matter that I know what they have. I still gotta figure out how to beat them. So, ultimate boss, let's do this with your level 71 Monferno. Now, any of you who have played, er, Monferno, Infernape. If any of you have played any Pokemon games, you know, a level 17 versus a level 71 is an unfair matchup unless... He can survive one hit and then use Toxic. <laughs> Alright. Now Toxic's in effect. Let's use Takedown. Or he's going to, of course, live through that. But he's going to slowly take more and more damage. So Monferno, you are up, my friend. Use Mock Punch. See, the problem is he'll take all this poison damage and die. But if none of my Pokemon can resist against it, by that meaning, like, if they die in one shot, it won't matter if I beat him. Because... Like, they're not going to survive long enough. Like, look at this. He's going to die one more shot. So, Croconaw, you are up. Water Gun, he's dead. Then, Infernape will die. Wow, big surprise there. Carvana versus Fero. All right. So, basically, this guy's the team of six. But we've only seen four different ones so far. We've seen his Infernape. We've seen his Salamence. 
We've seen his shiny Articuno. And this is his fourth Pokemon, the Fero. Alright. Ice Fang. And it used Frustration. I didn't know that was a move. But alright. Frustration, all you want. Um, again, we have defeated one of his Pokemon, but he, he still beat us. And there is a Pidgeot over there. Um, but yeah, so let's head back home and prepare for today's episode, actually. If you guys don't know, we do that at the beginning of every episode. Try fighting those two trainers, because if we beat them, we will get amazing stuff from them. It's not, like, pointless. And it does level up our Pokemon if we do manage. But um, right now, let's check and see how my Apricorn farm doing. Alright, for now I'm just going to harvest up the black and yellow because we are going to be crafting a ton of Ultra Balls. Because as you know, Legendaries can only really be caught with Ultra Balls and, well, Master Balls for that matter. You can use Dust Balls, Quick Balls, etc. Actually, Quick Balls. I didn't think about that. Let me just grab the blue up really quickly because I believe that's the Quick Ball recipe. Blue and yellow. So I guess we'll craft a few Quick Balls and we'll craft a few Ultra Balls. So let's see, let me just grab up these really quickly. Let's go into a crafting grid, and if I search, I think it's lid. Uh, is this the thing we're looking for? No, we're looking for disc. Disc. There we go. Alright. So what is this? Dubious disc? Alright, that's interesting. Um, Let's see, first see if we can make... We'll make three quick balls. We don't really need anything more than that, because quick balls only work on the first catch. Uh, We'll make some ultra balls. And can we make dust balls? We need for that green. Do we have any? We do. Alright, so craft a few dust balls. Done. And let's just shove them into our automatic anvil that has no fuel source. Give me its fuel source. Alright, so while that thing is breaking everything up, we should be fine. I still have to make this thing automatic somehow. I need to work on that or either off camera whenever I get a chance. And trainer! Guys, there's a trainer. It's a police officer. We have to beat the police officer. Level 13. Shield on, you're doing this. He has a level 13 Arcanine. Alright then. Um, Shield on, use your amazing ability known as Toxic. Alright, next Rock Smash. And what's great is he's using Electric type. I believe Shield on is part ground, so he's not going to be able to deal much damage. We might actually be able to do this. Come on, you can do this, Shield on. You can beat him. Almost there, just one more hit. He did it. Level 18, perfect. And he's got a Hound Door now. All right. Well, you. Well, oh, toxic didn't work. All right, Carvana, you are up. And of course, we always try to level up our weaker Pokemon first. Now I know there's a big difference between 18 and 24, but we should be fine. And he has been defeated. Perfect. And we're gonna eat our last piece of bread, and then we're gonna die of hunger. Um, I don't want to level up my Monferno anymore, just because he's just. He's kind of. He's kind of higher compared to everything else. I mean, it's good, but I don't want him to um, get so powerful that he's just, uh, I guess you could say invincible. And, uh, ooh, we forgot, we don't have any, um, uh-oh, do we have any iron? Iron discs? No, we only have two, um, wait, I can use aluminum. Yeah, I was, I was getting worried that we actually need, um, kind of need to be able to make the discs for this to work properly, aluminum discs, yeah, that'll work once that's done cooking. For some reason, I can't hear the anvil. Normally, it makes like the pounding noise. I might have had that s turn that sound off or something. I'm not sure. All right, those are done. Let's make that. And then we do have a safari and three great balls. Um, no, again, not the best in the world. Not the most as well. But we we can make do with it. Um, well, it's melting. Let me just look around right here for any bosses. An electabuzz. Oh, that's interesting. We have our two chickens in our pen over here. Um. We made that last episode, in case you were wondering, mm. because we are super low on food. That is why I have to farm every mill tank that I see in sight for their meat. I know it's cruel, but we have to. And there's the jump bluff actually stalking the chicken pen. Level 51 jump bluff. Let's see if I can take you on, actually. I know I said I didn't want to level him up, but it's still great training for my Monferno. If I get one Pokemon to level 100, I mean... He'll be able to, if I manage to get an XP share, he'll be able to um, fight the good fight for me. Now, it would be interesting if he... Yeah, he lost. Alright. So, if I switch to Gyarados and use Dragon Rage. And Gyarados leveled up. Alright. So, I guess that was kind of a good one-two combo there. I see more Miltank over here for me to eat. I mean, farm. I mean, just, just 
just beat. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll use that term. We'll beat them in a fight, and uh, we definitely won't be harvesting their food. You know, Pixmon really has a demonic twist to Pokemon because, like, you used to just, you faint the Pokemon in the games, and then that's kind of it. You have no idea what happens to them. Well, this game kind of, in a strange detail, explains to you what happens to them. You may or may not like this, but you kind of eat them. You need the food. I could actually just set it to peaceful, to be fair, just so I don't have to worry about eating the eating and anything, but, I mean, that takes away from the survival approach, so it's more fair that way. Okay, we just need to get the dusk ball lids cooking, and then we will be out of here and legendary hunting. Again, this is still a good way to find uh, more biomes. And do I have a psychic type? No, I don't have any Pokemon that can use psychic type moves. I still need to fix that, like, I have three water types. How am I ever going to be able to, like, do anything with three water types? I mean, I think two can use dark type moves. Actually, all three might be able to use dark type moves. Who knows? But, yeah. We definitely need to get our team under wraps before we can even attempt to, like, full-on beat the gyms. Because right now they're just really, really tough. I mean, I know I can beat one Pokemon, but that's just because of the toxic strat. Like, the Toxic strat is, n strat is nothing. Alright, so here's the problem now. We have six... We have six lids, so we're going to be able to craft six of these things. So, let me just quickly... Um, figure this out. So, we'll do one Dusk Ball. We'll do one Quick Ball. And we'll do three Ultra Balls. And we'll do one more... You know what, actually, I'll do the Quick Ball just because... Alright, so now we got our Pokeballs. Ready? We can throw the rest in. Did I? Yeah, I dropped my buttons. I'm going to throw the rest in here, and I'm just going to let this auto smelt the rest of the uh, Pokeballs. So let's move our items over just to make room here. So we'll go like that, like that, like that, like that. And I think we're good. Start our adventure. And we can start at nighttime because things can spawn nighttime, same as they can spawn at daytime. So, waypoints. Where can we go? So, we have the Extreme Hills Plus, the Ice Spikes, Jungle, Swamp. You know what? We're going to the jungle. Because purposes. I'm just saying right now, if a Mew spawns, there's absolutely nothing I can do. Actually, I think it's Jungle Hills that Mew spawns. Do I have a Jungle Hills, actually? A jungle. All right. Never mind, you cannot spawn here. We're good. Um, that would be the best slash worst thing that can happen to us. Uh, definitely would make for a good thumbnail. But, yeah. I don't think it's a good idea to just have a Mew spawn on us when we can't do a thing about it. But actually... Not to? Do you really want to go right now? But actually, though... Um, well, that's a Zatu! Now, there's the psychic type I could use. But, um... It might actually be worth it. Because Mew has a high... I didn't realize this. Apparently Mew has a high catch rate. Like Celebi, Mew... They apparently have a super high catch rate. As though, like... There's a chance a normal Pokeball could do the job. Now, I don't... I've never actually caught either. So, I can't really vouch for that. But... I'm just saying if it was true, then... I mean... Free Mew... <laughs> we might actually be able to catch it with the stuff we have, is what I'm saying. Now, if a Mew will probably never spawn in the jungle biome, or the jungle hills or whatever, unless you flatten it out or level it out just to make his spawning more, like, apparent. Because in normal jungle biomes, as you guys can see, not much spawns. And that's just because of all the tree leaves, because Pokemon can't spawn on leaves, or on vines, or on these, like, little grass plant things. So, they're only limited to the open... The grass blocks. And if there's none, then they can't spawn. That's Mew's whole issue. So he may be the easiest to catch, but he's also the hardest to spawn in because there's no area for him to, in particularly, spawn in. Speaking of... Yeah, we're still in jungle. Alright. I would like to get out of said jungle. That'd be great. Um, We have a trainer we could fight. Oh, there's a Joltik. Hello, Joltik. I think you just said hi back to me. Making friends in the jungle, guys. This is not all 
<laughs> Pointless. I've made a friend. He will help me whenever we have to catch the Mew. Okay, now this has to be Jungle Hills. It looks like a hill. You can't tell me it's not a hill. Let me turn this thing on. Alright, so I'm going to go over here and you're going to tell me this is a hill biome. River. Touche. Alright, um... Jungle... Jungle... Okay, come on. This has got to be Jungle Hills. What do you classify as a hill in Minecraft? I don't know. Um... Jungle, jungle... Alright, apologies for the cut there, guys. I had to answer a uh, telephone call. But, anyways, back to what I was saying. Um... If you guys actually did not see, I uploaded a video before this. I'm not entirely sure when I did, but I know I did today. <laughs> but, um... It actually aver is talking about the new um, Minecraft version that came out today. I'm assuming today. I know it didn't come out yesterday, so either overnight or today it came out. So, yeah, definitely check that out if you're interested in, like, newer Minecraft versions. Because I know I play this on 1.10.2 Minecraft, so this is, like, a very new Minecraft version. But another new one came out, so you guys definitely want to check that out and see. Feel free. But, anyways, back to the whole Pokemon issues at hand. And, holy, I might actually want this thing. Venipede. But wait. I have Pokemon that use bug type moves. And I don't have a poison type. Ah, but he's so cute and adorable and he evolves into Rollipede, which is right over here. Hello, Rollipede. And then there's Scullipede, which is his final form. I mean, Generation 5 Pokemon for the win, maybe. Eh. She's Ember on him. You know, I didn't think that through. And I forgot them on Furnace 31, and that was level 10. Feels bad. I didn't do that on purpose, just saying. I definitely just didn't want to kill him to get him out of the way. That sounds so bad. No, but I, I really wanted to catch him. Oh, there's another one, and he wants to fight me. Alright, shield on, come here. I know exactly how we can do this. Toxic. Did Oh, Toxic doesn't work. Alright, Rock Smash then. Alright, just sit still, Venipede. You will soon be caught by my Pokeballs. And I'm going to use a... Um, either the, I think I'll use the Safari Ball on him. Come on, Venipede, just don't use Takedown. I don't know if you can learn Takedown, but don't use Takedown. Don't crit hit either, Shield on. What is he doing? I'm so confused. What is happening? I'm, like, doing no damage. Alright, there we go. That's low enough. Alright, Bag, Pokeball, Safari Ball, go. Are we gonna catch him? Are we gonna catch him? Are we gonna? Nice. Alright. Venipede caught. Uh, continuing on with our journey into mysterious lands, I've noticed we are down to one hunger bar. It's fine. We can't die. We're on easy mode. Actually, what mode are we on? We're on normal. Why am I on... Why is this always on... I'm so confused. Alright, go to easy mode for a minute. I'm locking this in. Yes, lock the difficulty so I can never change it. <laughs> um, I don't know if I... I, don't, I wasn't even really paying attention if I locked that or not, but, um... I don't know why it's a thing in Minecraft how you can lock in difficulty so you can never change it, but, um, yeah, we're supposed to be on easy mode. I don't know why I have it set to normal. Maybe it's for... Yeah, no. No, we should be on easy mode. But, you know, Minecraft sometimes likes just changing your versions for you. Because it thinks it knows what version, what type of game you want to be playing. Oh, and I'm just saying right now, if there would happen to be a shiny... In front of my face, I probably would not see it in the forest. Now, I have pretty keen eyesight, but... I mean, all these jungle Pokemon like this, to me, could be a shiny because of its stupid antennae. But... Venonat. Yes, Venonat, I know. You could be a shiny, but you're not, so leave me alone. Oh, traitor. What do you want to trade, my good sir? You're looking for a gold duck. That's actually a pretty decent trade. You'd give a ride on for a gold duck. I mean... Eh. Meh. <laughs> Are we at Jungle Hills yet? What is this? Jungle M. Ju so, so I just skip Jungle Hills and I go straight to Jungle M. And it, no, they don't count as the same either, which is horrible. I just want to find a Golden. Yes, I want to find a Golden. No, I just want to get. Oh, Jungle Hills! Guys, we found the Promised Land. I don't know. What the hell is the difference? Those are, those are like bigger. That's not fair. Okay. 
You know what? Fine. Didn't even mean screenshot that. Waypoints. Add jungle hills. I don't even need the normal jungle anymore. No, we don't need you. We need jungle hills. Um, let me just. Huh. Yeah, I guess. All right, jungle hills have been found. Now Mew, spawn in. <laughs> if Mew legitly spawns in right now, I'm just gonna panic. Cause I know I'm not catching it. But does Mew spawn at daytime or nighttime? Is the question. I don't know that. See, I know where they spawn. I only remember a few like time zones they spawn at. Like, like there can be like day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, like. All those factors apparently exist in Pixelmon and Pokemon too, which I think is ridiculous. But anyway, um, yeah. Speaking of different dusk time zones and such, um, Pokemon Go. Any of you people play? That is the scariest thing in the world. I swear. Um, any of you play Pokemon Go? In the comment section, let me know. And also, let me know if you caught any of the new Generation Two Pokemon. In case you didn't know, um, they added a few Generation 2 Pokemon into Pixelmon. Pixelmon. Yes, into Pixelmon. No, into Pokemon Go. So, um, there's a few more interesting Pokemon that can be caught, or I should say hatched. Because you can only hatch them from the eggs. But, um, yeah, definitely would be interested to know. I personally have not. I have only caught the uh, Santa Claus Pikachu. Currently attempting to get the Santa Claus Raichu. Don't know if I'm going to pull it off. If I do, GG. But, um,. Would love to hatch one of those new Pokemon out of the eggs. But again, guys, if any of you play P Pokemon Go, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Anyways, hear about it. Like, I could hear through the comment. What is that? Oh, that's a Mistrevious. <laughs> I thought that was a, uh, what is that new Pokemon from X and Y? It's like Esper? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I thought it was that thing. And I was like, why are you... I know that's being added in the new one of the new updates for Pixelmon. And holy war turtles. Hi, guys. Oh, you, no. like... Why did two of you just spawn like that? It's so random. And now that we're out of, well, where we were supposed to be. You know, I'm really going to die. Like, do you guys see my health? I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I'm seriously going to kill myself. In the game. Like, I'm, like, it, it's really bad right now. Definitely not surviving. Oh, Hidden Grotto. Hidden Grotto, Hidden Grotto. Definitely didn't pick that out from my away. Alright, so, I don't know if I, if we... Let me just... It's supposed to be like that. Um, Let me just say, I don't know if we've shown off one of these in the series yet. I'm forgetting. But if we did, then this is going to be non-hype. But basically, these things can spawn your world, and they can be like different loot. And like, as you know, the Poke loot, the highest can be the Master Ball. And these things mostly have a Master Ball. They can have Ultra, but mostly they're Master. So we could get probably even a Master Ball out of this Master loot. So, 3, 2, 1, what are we going to get? Body slam. TM. You know, I was expecting more. But, I mean, it's our first one. Or first one. I don't know if it was our first one, but it's one of them. So, we can't always expect the, the best stuff. Yeah, I know. Magikarp tells it all. And what are we in right now? We are in a roof forest. Okay. I don't remember the roof forest being so, like, non-cluttered. Normally, you can't really move much in them. I'm just saying right now, I have no idea where I'm heading to. We could just, you know, let's teleport to another biome. Um, waypoints, let's head to, let's go to, yeah, let's go to this one. The one where it's all three biomes combined, the ice areas. Because we could get, what spawns these biomes is Regice and Regigigas. I believe there might be one more, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, basically the two ice legendaries, well, Regigigas isn't really an ice legendary, he's, I think, normal? Or is he steel? He might be steel. But, um, yeah, they both spawn here, so, if we got one of those, that looks amazing in the background, though, let me tell you, like, the, uh, the ice spikes there. Yeah, if you didn't know, this is like a, this is like a, like a quadrant biome, I guess I can call it, like, it's got the ice spikes there, ice plains here, and then it's got, like, ice mountains over there, like, it's so cool. But, um, perfect for Team Rocket people, because all the Team Rocket trainers spawn here for some reason. And it's also perfect for, uh, let, uh any ice type, really. Alright, Team Rocket person, I'm going to fight you. What are you going to have? You have a Doe Duo. Normal type. I don't know why I clicked Ember. 
Supposed to be using Mock Punch again, and I use Quick Attack. Oh my gosh, it shredded me. What the heck? <laughs> Alright. Gyarados, please finish him off. You should be able to. Good job, Gyarados. Level up, too. A Do Trio. You know, just stick with Dragon and to use Pluck. Alright. Staravia. Do me the favor using Endeavor. Okay. Croconaw. Uh, Ice Fang. Uproar again. But I was able to hit with the Ice Fang. Nice. Um, Carvana. Again, use Ice Fang. Didn't work. Alright, Shield On. You are our last and only hope. Use Toxic. Yes. Alright, now use Takedown. He's dead. Hate you. Hate you, hate you, hate you. Alright. You know it would be random if they made it so there was a small chance that a Team Rocket Trainer could have a Mewtwo? <laughs> As opposed to the story. Like, that would be... That would be something. Like, imagine, like, there's just a secret level 100 Team Rocket Trainer that... Like, he has a level 100 Mewtwo. And, and <laughs> his name just happens to say Giovanni. But that'd be, that'd be hilarious. Like, like, this person just has a Mewtwo. And you can never capture, just taunts you. And no, I'm not fighting any more Team Rocket Trainers. I'm sad because I did not kill it. And it's bad. And then there's a Mareep right here. Marie. Yep, Mareep. I like how when you say their name, they have to respond to you with their name. Like, it's so great. Pokemon, it's an interesting thing. Is this the Ice Shrine I've found? This might be another one. Um, I'll have to check. Because I know I have found one of these already. This is the Articuno Shrine right here. Um. Yeah, so basically I could spawn the legendary Pokemon Articuno anytime I get the orb. Spawn him in here. But yeah, let me just check really quickly. Um, waypoints. Let me check. Um, Plains Articuno Shrine. Is this another one? Let's see. Looking for the letter A on the waypoints meter. Oh, it's over there. Yes, yeah, so this is another Articuno Shrine. Alright. Fair enough. Waypoints add. Articuno number two. Alright, fair enough. Didn't expect that, but um, where do I have the Articuno thing even marked? Articuno. Why is it all the way up there? It should be down here or something. Here, I gotta... I, I'm sorry about this. I need to organize that really quick. That was bothering me. Alright, so we found a second Articuno Shrine, so now if we get two orbs, we can get two Articunos. Um, if you don't know, orbs are dropped from the uh, bosses in Pokemon. So, if we kill a boss, we can get an orb, possibly. But, come on guys, can we get one legendary, please? Please? This is supposed to be like a legendary hunting episode, and there's no legendaries, there's just seals and spheels and... Meals. I don't know. Um. Hmm. And I can't go the beach biomes because all those legendaries, those are the ones I know spawn at um, dusk and nighttime in the ocean biomes. That would be Lugia, Kyogre, and Suicune. So those three are like stubborn. Suicune doesn't spawn in the ocean, it spawns on the beach, but same principle, same area. Um. And we have found a Spruce Forest. Great. And who wants to fight Magnemite? Magnemite? Ember? You're going to survive with Sturdy because you're stubborn, sturdy type Pokemon. And you're dead. Thanks for the Aluminum, Iron, and Glowstone. Much appreciative. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. We're not, we're not accomplishing our goal for today. And our goal is to find a Legendary. Well, actually, technically I said Legendary Hunting. We're hunting for legendaries, but we don't expect to find one. I mean, we found the Articuno Shrine. Doesn't that kind of count? No. Okay. Alright. We're heading to the beach. Uh, do we even... Do we even have a beach biome? <laughs> Why? What? I thought... I really thought... You know what? Flower Force teleport. I can't. I can't right now. I honestly thought that we had a beach biome, but we don't. And while I'm here, I'm cl I'm starting to clear this place out so Celebi can be more at home. If you didn't know, in the Flower Force, Celebi spawns, and I believe daytime is when it can spawn. So, and he's also, like I said, he's got the same catch rate as Mew. Very high, very easy. Um, 
And it's also not very big flower forest, but it suits our purposes. We're only using the flower forest to, to, to get Celebi. I mean, I would like not to have one of the weaker legendaries to start off with, but I mean... Yeah. If it happens, it happens. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to chop down this last tree and then we'll head home and end off the episode. Because I am very, very... I don't want to say triggered, but I'm just like... There's nothing. There's nothing. Alright, so guys, end off the episode here. This is a very non-productive episode. We did level up our Gyarados and Shield on, though. Which is good. We managed not to let our Monferno level up again, which is also good because we don't have anything stronger to deal with. So maybe we will see the fruits of our labor in the next episode when we fight the gyms again. I call them gyms. I don't know really what to call them. Bosses, whatever. And so, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 500 subscribers. You could be one of those people. Subscribe right now and make it 500. And then, for all eternity, you can spam the comment section and say, I was your 500th subscriber. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.